and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn and together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved on board a narrow boat called Nutshell and... Born Caravan in Devon. Yes we did. And here we are. And here we are indeed. Welcome to our 200th episode if you're still here from the beginning well done oh well done you deserve a medal if you've been here since the beginning anyway without further ado let us show you how the week unfolded good morning and welcome to saturday i'm still down in devon on my own glenn's back at the boat at ivinhoe i've decided I'm not going to sit around all day just doing work on my computer. Oh no, I'm off for an adventure. I haven't got a car down here until Glenn arrives on Monday. But I'm not letting that stop me. Oh no, I'm going to walk into Brixham. I'm going to catch the bus to Totnes. Yeah, come on, let's go. It's quite a nice day out here. Sun's trying to come through. It's not overly warm though. So take me about 15 minutes to walk down to where the buses leave for Totnes. I'm not exactly sure what time the buses leave but I think there's about two an hour. So we have been to Totnes before a while ago. Oh it's my sort of town it really is. Glen would call it earthy. Yeah it's got good environmental credentials as Totnes so I'm very excited to be going especially on a Saturday because I have a really good market there. Not that one. I'm pretty sure the bus goes from over there. Let's go check it out. So I've got here and there's not a direct bus. There's a, a bus to Paynton which you have to change. I'm not bothered about that but the queue is massive. It goes all the way around the corner. So I think I might just have a stroll around Brixham. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. I have got to do a bit of running around today, then I'm going to come back. I've got a few jobs on the boat I need to do today. Uh, I really need to fix the floor in the kitchen because that's driving me mad. And the other job I really need to do because it's actually getting quite cold at night now is I need to put a new rope on the door of the fire. Seeing I'm not going on the bus, let's check out the ferry. The ferry was just leaving. How unlucky was that? The ferry wasn't just leaving, it was just docking. I'm going to go back, see if I can get on it. I'm not sure what's going on with the ferry. Everyone's got off, but they don't seem to be letting anyone back on. So back at the boat. I'm going to do the fire first because I, I think we're going to need that quite soon. So this is a fire door. Basically, I've got to get this all off and clean all the channel out. The reason I'm replacing it is because it's, it's gone here. And it's going through here as well. I've got a brand new rope to go on now, but you've got to clean it out properly. So I've cleaned it all up. Now I've got to run a bead of glue all the way around the outside. Hey Siri, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes starting now. So I've put the rope in, got to leave it for 15 minutes and I've got to put it back on the fire and shut it. It seems to glue up quite quickly and apparently the heat from the fire will set it solid. I've just squidged it in to the little groove that it's got all the way around as best as I can and obviously shutting the door will push it in. We'll see how that goes. So I'm not having much luck with uh, transport today. So the ferry is not leaving for another hour or so, but they're not even sure if it's leaving. It's going to Torquay and it's not returning. So I don't want to get stuck in Torquay and also they're not even sure if they're going yet. Well, I think I might just get an ice cream, walk back up to the caravan, do some work. So the time is just about to finish and now I've got to try and get the door shut with obviously the new rope on it. Let's wait for the timer. 
Okay, let's get this door shut. Managed to get it shut, it's really tight though. Gonna have to leave that and get that to let that squidge down. So I'm gonna have a quick mow of the grass because we're away another week. It doesn't need much, just needs a quick flick over before we go. So I've just rebuilt my dad's old chainsaw. I've given it a few pulls. It's not sounding too hopeful yet, but let's uh, give it a few more. that my trip wasn't very successful i mean i didn't get a bus i didn't get a ferry but i did get an ice cream i did get a coffee and i did sit and watch the world go by it was very lovely and the sun came out and i walked back so i got my steps in it wasn't the day i had planned but it wasn't bad so today Took the car to the garage this morning, did the rope on the fire this afternoon, rebuilt my dad's old chainsaw and that seemed to work. Didn't get nothing else done in the boat. I've had a little bit of a tidy up, oover up and I just had a shower. So here's tonight's mishmash dinner and tonight's documentary is about Oasis. So Jeff's making a curry which he's put on his fire pit. Oh, don't spill it. It's, it's, it's an all in curry. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, that'd be fine. So that's me, I've just got back from Sally and Jeff's. They cooked me a great dinner. We're calling it Towpath Tucker. That's it for me tonight. I've just spoke to Mrs. Warner, said goodnight to her. Paintballing for me tomorrow. I'll take you with me. Don't expect too much from me tomorrow because obviously I've got a whole of paintball gun and make sure that I don't get shot too much. Let's see how that goes, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm off to bed in a little bit. I just want to say goodnight and i'll see you in the morning good morning and welcome to sunday it's a misty gray day out there today obviously i'm still down in devon on my own i haven't got a car i've got loads of washing and tumble drying and those sort of jobs to do today i could do with stocking up on some food i see a walk to a shop coming on at some point today mr warner he's going paintballing today morning Welcome to Sunday. I've just arrived at Liam and Mel's. It's five to eight in the morning and we're going paintballing. Just had to stop and get some coffee. So here we are, paintballing skirmish. Lewis, Target number one. Liam and Charlie. These are the guys. Have you got this, is this the only site you've got? No, we've got four. One at Redditch. Yep. We've got one at Hilton Park, Wolverhampton, and we've got one in Whitefield in Leeds. And this one at Finmere. I'm just waiting. Quite a good setup here. Here we go. We've done a couple of rounds. Charlie got shot. I got shot in the chest, in the back, in my finger. <laughs> Liam got sprayed. I didn't get shot. I shot Lewis by mistake. <laughs> Liam, did you shoot him? And Michael didn't get shot at all either, did you? No, so we're, we're, all, we're all intact. So this morning, I've been quite productive. I've been working, I've done loads of washing, the tumble dryer's on. I'm a bit fed up with having rubbish meals, so I'm gonna cook something delicious tonight. Cumin, peppers, halloumi, green veg and salsa. That's what we need. I'm gonna cook up a feast tonight. Halfway through, I'm a bit red and a bit sweaty, and I don't know why. I've not done much running around. Liam's got shot in the arm. Mikey, right yeah, he got shot there. I, 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 I took the chest. Yeah, I, I, I shot Lewis twice by, oh, well, once I think, twice. Yeah. So we're second half. I'm nearly out of bullets. We're, we're, we've all got quite low on bullets. Liam got caught with a bullet on the head and drew blood, and it looks, it looks really sore. All dry's finished. I'm heading down to get some delicious food. I've got all the things on my list, heading back now, up the hill, least favourite bit. I've got two interesting things to tell you when I get back. It's got like one of the last games, I'm just going to sit this one out and try and take some footage. It's very warm. These are the attackers, which is Liam and that, and then up there are the defence. Here we go. So basically we've got to defend that box there. It'll last about seven minutes.
you're out. Yeah. Louis and Mikey, Louis got shot. No, Louis ran out of bullets. Oh, Mikey. Mikey's knackered. I think, have you used his grenade yet? Who? My, my, I have a brother, yeah, he's used a grenade. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's used it, but, um... Right. I made it back up that hill. I didn't get a taxi. I was just like, no, Lisa, walk. But the things I want to tell you, there is a house on the way down that has a bird of prey. It's got obviously got like a big aviary. And this bird of prey, it looks like a peregrine falcon. But you know me, not an expert. And it sits like just watching. It's random, but I'm used to it. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's the bird of prey. I walk down, and I don't know what caught my eye, but I look across to my left, down someone's driveway. They've got like a shed with a, an aviary sort of front. There's a great big owl in it. Not a little one, great big white owl. That is so cool. I don't know the story behind either of those houses. Why have they got birds of prey? I don't know. I don't know, but I find it fascinating. Anyway, I got all the bits I wanted from Tesco's. Do you know what? I was halfway down. I went into the spa shop and they didn't have any halloumi. They didn't have any cumin. In fact, they didn't have anything on my list. But I was like, I'll make do. I'll make do. And then I was like, no, Lisa. You said you're going to make yourself a nice dinner. Walk down to Tesco's, which I did. So I'm going to get dinner in the oven. I'll show you when it's finished. Hopefully it'll be a taste sensation. So that's it for the day. We're all on our way back. We're actually all knackered. Liam's injured. Right, I'll see you later. Now this is what we're talking. I don't think you're in focus, but I haven't got my glasses on, so you might be. No, I don't think you are. Are you in focus? You are now. You, oh yes you are uh, I'm just going to say goodnight I've had a very pleasant evening Done nothing Watched a couple more documentaries One on Lance Armstrong And one on The parents of Children that have Committed mass shootings Both of them Not too cheery So don't bother checking those ones out Anyway I'm off to bed now And I'll see you in the morning Good morning and welcome to Monday. What is the time? It's eight o'clock. I've got to shoot to the office. Got some work to do, some packing to do for Mrs. Warner. Then I am off to pick her mum up and then I'm driving to Devon today. Let's go. Good morning to you and welcome to Monday. <sighs> there is so much about today that I am loving. Number one, Glenn is on his way with me mum that's two things glenn and me mum coming down to the caravan makes me very happy it's a monday you know how much i love a monday a whole new week ahead oh man and this is going to be a good one because sunshine is forecast for a majority of the week at least the next two days is going to be sunny oh the world looks so much nicer in sunshine don't you think oh it does it does i did some washing yesterday but i'm going to do some more this morning some towels some bedding i need to remake the bed that my mum's gonna be sleeping in i've got a lot to do basically this morning before glenn and my mum get here i've got a shed load of work so i do some admin for the flower shop at the beginning of each month it doesn't usually take me long but i need to get that done this morning i've got some other like proper work to do i've got video oh you don't want to know all about me working um anyway i've got loads to do this morning i also want to have a good tidy up get that washing on wash the floors have a hoover all those jobs get it all done yeah in the next couple of hours it's, that's not going to be difficult at all i better crack on oh man glorious day let's get this washing on Right, washing on. Right, I'm going to take my toast, go sit outside. So I'm at Lisa's mum's. Hello. Sandra's with me. We're ready for our road trip, four hours and a bit. There's a bit of traffic on the way, so uh, hopefully that'll clear by the time we get to it. So we we'll see you in a few hours.
all jobs are done well i've just got to wash the floor man's been round and strimmed all around the caravan which is great but there's grass everywhere so i'm just going to get out and sweep that up and then i'm going to stroll to the shop to get some stuff for tea tonight i've got a feeling the shop shuts early now it's september the shop on the site that is, not the one in town. I'm going to just nip round there now. I want to get some eggs and some bits and pieces for dinner tonight. I was going to wait till my mum got here and then I could take her around and give her a tour. But I'm a bit worried the shop's going to shut. How lovely is it out here today? It's beautiful. I just heard from Glenn and my mum they're stuck in traffic on the M5. So that's a bit of a bugger. My suspicions were correct. Opens up again at four o'clock. Glenn and my mum have made good ground after the, getting stuck in traffic. They're going to be here in half an hour. I'm going to walk back down to the shop, see if I can get some bits for dinner. And then hopefully they should be here. Right, off we go to the shop again. I'm back from the shop. The shelves were empty. I've got the last packet of beef. I'm not eating it, but mum can have that for dinner. Got some eggs. Let me show you what else I brought. I mean, I was drawn to it because of the can. Look at this, iced tea. Now, I know if you're in the States, I think iced tea's like a thing. Not so much in the UK. Peach flavour. I mean, it's worth a try. It's a massive can as well. Anyway, gonna crack that open and uh, get on with some dinner. Let's give it a try. It's all right that is i keep hearing cars coming up the lane next to us and looking out the window it's not them they should be here soon though here they come let's go outside here they are mum's found the comfy spot i'm just making a mess i mean i'm just cooking dinner it's the same thing essentially so we've just done oh. a super quick and easy dinner just a That's bit lovely. of beef salad for you and Mr. Warner. Having? I'm having the same, but without the beef. So mine's basically a halloumi salad. This is gonna be mum's first time trying halloumi. What's different? It is, isn't it? Mm. What do you think? Not bad. Not bad. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> mum, that, that, whenever mum says it's different, that means I'm never eating that again. Mum has walked all the way down. She's done very well. And we've come down to see the sea, which is right in today. There's just the smallest amount of beach down there. It's looking lovely. I knew it would. Me and Mum, we walked down to see the sea. We walked back up again. We had a drink. Glenn did his engine room chat. He's, he's sitting there having a chocolate biscuit. You can tell me Mum's here. She's brought good stuff. Mum's there with her feet up. And I'm about to sit down and put my feet up too. So we will see you in the morning. Good morning to you. And welcome to Tuesday. I'm making bacon sandwiches. I'm not having one. But can we just take a moment to appreciate how good this bacon looks? Look at that. That looks mighty fine. I'm not having nothing. So, I've got information for you. You know those cottages that I saw when I went on my walk last week? You know, they were really isolated and there was a tunnel nearby. Well, YouTube, you always come up with the answers. Steve got in touch and he said that tunnel is actually an old lime kiln. So thanks Steve for that. And Alan got in touch and he says they're old Coast Guard cottages. But it don't stop there. Oh no. Last night I was on Facebook scrolling. It only pops up in the newspaper that one of those cottages is for sale. Oh yeah. £550,000 for a two bed cottage completely off grid no water no electricity would you pay half a million pound for those views I would if I had half a million pound I'd, I'd buy it 
Mr. Warner, he weren't so sure, but he hasn't seen how beautiful they are in real life. It's nothing to do with how beautiful it is, the second you said sawdust toilet. We used to live in off-grid, we could make yeah, that work. We've got a shower, washing machine, tumble dryer, and we've got our own way of making generators. We'd be running the generators on the beach, it'd be bad for the environment. That's just an update on those cottages. Anyway, Mr. Warner has got a bit of work to do, so I'm going to suggest to Mum that we go for a stroll, and I'm going to show her where the swimming pool is. We've just been to check out the pool. We might go for a dip in there later, mightn't we, Mum? Yeah. yeah, we're going out exploring in a little bit. It's ever so quiet. There was about two people in there. Where are we off to on this glorious day? Well, we're going for an explore. Very excited about this. Number one, we're checking out a beach on the other side of the river. So we've got to go across the ferry. I know, you've done it a million times. But um, we've got to go across the ferry. But then we're going to go a different way. And we're going to check out a beach called Blackpool Sands. We're going to check that out. And then Ralph, who watches our videos, who's in Canada, suggested that we check out, what's it called? Sulcombe. Sulcombe. So that's where we're off to. We're off to Sulcombe. Not somewhere to Sulk. <laughs> no, no, it's it's S A L C O. Salcombe. It's Salcombe. So yes, yeah, Salcombe. Anyway, however you pronounce it, that's where we're off to. Come on, mate. Get a bus through there. Oh, that's very funny, Glenn. Yeah. Oh, there's a big queue for the ferry today. God, that's a big old boat, isn't it? It's a whopper. Oh, there's a massive sailing boat going out. Look at that. That's a, an amazing sight. It's a bit traffic chaos around here. But we're off. It's our turn. You can hear the train whistle. So we've got a good view of the boat and this boat actually spins round. I'll show you. Glenn, Glenn finds it fascinating. There we go, Mum, look. The boat is, look, can you see? The first time, like, you're like, where's the boat going that's driving us? But he actually spins it round. And then reattaches. It's very clever. Go. All the foot passengers get off. It's been busy today. Lots of lots of foot passengers. Now, when we leave here, we have to do a tight, almost like hairpin bend. <laughs> here we go. Up we go. All the way round. Oh, nicely done, Mr. Warner. Nicely done. Right. Let us continue. Well, I've never been this way before. Yep, the road's getting smaller. Oh, van coming. Oh, man. Glenn, you can't get any closer. Oh, this is a tiny road. I spot Blackpool Sands. Look at that beach ahead. It is gorgeous. So we've parked eight pound to park. We're just gonna get a coffee and enjoy the beach. Smells good, doesn't that? So, Mum and Glenn are sharing some chips. This is exciting. This is the first time I've had a tofu burger. I'm not sure about the texture of my tofu burger. Well, we recommend that one. Absolutely beautiful there another view of the beach it is absolutely huge the beach huge what? but it's not bad I, th I just never knew Devon was this beautiful oh we've come to a standstill we're definitely not going to come back this way I've just decided we're going to go another way So I think this is, I want to say Kingsbridge. Yes, I can confirm this is Kingsbridge. I've just seen a signpost. 
We made it to Sulcombe. There's no park and ride today. So we've opted to go into the town centre rather than by the beach because we've done beach already. So we're checking out the town centre. So this is Sulcombe. Oh man, these are little streets. Well, Sulcombe looks lovely. Lovely, lovely. It reminds me of Mevergissi. It does, yeah, it's very similar. Let's see if we can get anywhere to park. If not, you know what? We're going to be driving straight through. And Mr. Warner is such a. Nothing phases him. I would be freaking if I was coming down here. I mean, even in the smart car. That may have been the quickest visit to Sulcan, Mum, you've ever had. Oh, yeah, I can say that Sulcombe looks like an absolutely beautiful place. Like, beautiful. We've got a load of people. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, man, let's get out of here. We are coming back when the park and ride's on, or maybe out of season when it's not so busy. Oh, that was a bit of an adventure, wasn't it? Me and Mum, we've been swimming. Mum, how was it? Beautiful. It was lovely. I was prepared for the outdoor pool to be freezing. You know, like when you get in, take your breath away. It no. wasn't, was it? Beautiful. It's actually like a warm bath. It was lovely. Anyway, we're back now. Going to make Mum a cup of tea. And uh, then I'm going to crack on with dinner. Glenn and Mum have got barbecue chicken kebabs. I have got fake chicken. Well, we've had dinner. That was delicious. We are now watching saving lives at sea one of our favorite programs each week mum's a huge fan as well good morning and welcome to wednesday well the weather forecast said it was going to pour with rain today and so far not raining it also said there's thunderstorms and there are rumbles of thunder so i cracked out the the app we are right on the edge. It's just skirting around us. This is where we are. This is all the lightning and this is all the rain. And you can see from there, basically, it's missing us, which is brilliant. So that is moving up that way. But look what's coming. Oh... I don't think we're going to be so lucky in missing that bad boy, are we? No, this is moving quite quickly, actually. So I don't think it's going to be long before that gets to us. Just a bit of weather drama. First thing on the Wednesday morning. A quick weather update. The, it's actually moved away from us. But that big bit of weather is chasing us down. Yeah, so still dry here. Well, this morning we had some rain, we had a bit of thunder, but all that dramatic weather just passed us by. Oh, we're so lucky. Anyway, it's brightening up now and we're going to take a stroll into Brixham. Mum says she's up for the walk. Uh, we're going to get a taxi back. If we walk past the bus stop and the bus is there, we'll jump on it. It's not cold at all out here. In fact, it's quite pleasant. The bus is obviously leaving in a minute, so let's catch the bus down, save Mum's leg. We're not catching the bus. The bus driver's lunch break, so it doesn't set off for another hour. So we can walk down in 15 minutes. So we're going to walk down. Mum's up for it, aren't you, Mum? Yes, I am. She, she is. This is Ron going shopping. He really wants to go in this shop here. He's, look, he's thinking about it. This big boat weren't here when I walked down the other day. And they're doing something over there as well. It looks like dredging. That, that is a whopper seagull, that one. It looked like an eagle. So we've come in here for a drink. We got a good view. So Glenn's ordered fries. Mum's gone for a steak pasty. And now I've gone for a veggie pasty. Oh yes, we've made it back. We did get a taxi back. And now Mum wants a cup of tea. We're going to put our feet up for a bit. She's done a lot of steps today. I feel like I haven't done a lot of filming 
today we haven't done much to be honest uh so, well i've done some work glenn's done some work mum has read a book mum watched a bit of tv so we haven't really done much no one's that hungry so i'm just gonna do like a sharing platter with some cheese and crackers so just a sharing platter for tea tonight i'm still cracking on with the vegan cheese the mushroom pate well and cheese of all sorts to be oh, honest i'm time. just keeping them away from the meat obviously not keeping away from the scones so it's almost 11 o'clock i forgot to say good night earlier i'm off to bed and i'll see you in the morning good morning and welcome to thursday this morning we're having croissants delicious croissants oh i love a delicious croissant glenn brought them yesterday and they've been sitting on the side whispering to me like lisa we're here we're gonna have breakfast and then i'll let you know what we're up to today oh here's the croissants they smell so good why do i love croissants so much when the kids were little any kid's birthday we would have croissants for breakfast. Yes. So what are we up to today? We're, we're going to go to the range, aren't the range. we? Oh, <laughs> mum loves a good range. Then we're going to go to Torquay to visit Cockington, the village. This is Glenn's favourite shop. <laughs> My favourite shop's like Halfords. His favourite shop is Halfords, but the range comes a close second. Yeah. Like all the Christmas stuff in. That's crazy. We'll walk on by. <laughs> no. oh, love it. We've lost Glen. This is my favourite aisle. Look at this. You open it. It's got multiple notebooks in. Love that. Oh look, these are actual sketchbooks, but to be honest, I love a good sketchbook. Quite like a Sudoku. Look at all the Christmas stuff. Let's go. Next stop, Cockington. I can't believe they had all that Christmas stuff. Let me know in the comments when do you start buying your Christmas stuff. Are you an all through the year person? Starting at September person? December? Or a last minute person? It wouldn't be a journey without a little lane. The squirrel is running down the middle of the Why road. He hasn't gone up the side bank. I yeah. Don't know. Hopefully it's... he'll pull over it. Yeah. He won't keep going. He has. He has. Oh, he's, no. oh no, he's pulled back out. Still there. Come on, mate. Come on, go up the bank. And the lane's got smaller. Right, let's get an ice cream before we do anything. Glenn, what are you going for? Cranberry and. Blood orange. Yeah. Blood orange sorbet. and cranberry. Cam, cram, cranberry sorbet. Mum? Rum and raisin. Oh, that's mine. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Stem ginger. I did go for special cone. Mum's gone for a normal one. What's it like, Glenn? What you expect from sorbet? Mm. Thank you. And mum and raisin wow. for mum. This is a uh, water wheel. <laughs> Last time we came, it was really busy here. I don't know if you can see, but the leaves are falling. So these are made in the blacksmith's forge. We've come into the rose garden and I don't know if it's because it's been raining, but it smells so lovely. So we went into the glass shop and as I said before, that is the place that did dad's memorial paperweight. So it was so lovely to talk to the man. We've just been trying to find a parking space in Brixham but it was too busy so we're now going to check out the other car park oh so exciting just trying to find a place to park so this is our third car park <laughs> and there is zero space you know what we need glenn don't you 
Okay, smart. Moped. <laughs> so we bought this lovely lamp. I think that will go. That will go somewhere. I'll show you that when it's lit tonight. I think it's going to look nice. We bought a bin. All the great things, but this is the exciting thing. I bought this little, this little pouch for some crayons. I bought some crayons oh this little set here i just loved it look i love a pouch it's got another pouch in it it's got a little notepad oh it's got all the stuff i bought this which had lots of coloring bits in that'll keep me busy and a sudoku i do love a sudoku gets my brain working we're not doing well on fine dining today oh no i took the bread out the bread rolls were moldy so they've gone in the bin um the bread it's um less damn fresh let's just say that way but not moldy we've got a pack of crisps and a can of coke I've got an out of date. and glenn's got an out of date ready meal oh never mind that's all i'm saying our next meal will be a taste sensation so the challenge is on i've just challenged mr warner to a speed test of sudoku or sudoku however you pronounce it yeah we're gonna do it head to head see who wins and the challenge begins ready set go go i'm the winner not that i've completed mine but glenn's given up i think we may have found the perfect fish and chip place. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Oh, I love a Friday. You know I do. Well, where are we off to today? Well, remember at the beginning of the week when I attempted to travel to Totnes on the bus? I'm going to try again with Mum. She's like a bus expert. <laughs> Mr. Warner's not coming with us. I mean, he's going to drop us in Paynton at the bus station, but then he's off to see his friend Steve. Glenn's dropped us off and we found the bus station. So far, so good. Here we go. Even the bus goes down tiny lanes. Right, here we are, top next. Let's explore. First stop, somewhere to have something to eat. They have the most magnificent looking sausage rolls. I mean, I didn't have one, but I made mum have one just so I can look at it. They look amazing. But mum's sausage roll is just magnificent. What's it taste like? Is it good? I went for a vegetarian option. It's all uphill to the market. <laughs> mum, we've almost made it to the top now. I just absolutely love this place. I could move here in a heartbeat. I can't tell you how good that smells. Delicious, delicious salads there. Lovely food. Got some white charity shop bargains. I'll show you when we get back. Look at these, absolutely stunning. So I'm just in Chelston at the co-op with my mate um, from school, just picking up some bits for his mum, then I've got to run him home back to Babacombe and then I'll, I'll go back to Brixham. So we've made it back, we got the bus from Torquay back to Brixham and then the cab from Brixham to here. We're in the clubhouse having a cup of tea. We're effectively locked out because we haven't got a key, but it don't matter, we've got tea and that's okay. So we're quite happy to sit here and wait for Glenn. So that bus was a bargain, five pound day rider ticket. Mum obviously got a bus pass, so she doesn't have to pay at all. But for me, five pound, it was unlimited bus travel in this area all day long. We were having a cup of tea, but look, we're joined by, is it Paxo? Yeah, the fabulous Paxo. The fabulous the Paxo. <laughs> Paxo the poser. Yeah, yeah oh, excellent, Very excellent. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> wonderful. It's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. <laughs> New owners. New owners. <laughs> We're going to have a go at this. The place is empty. So we thought we'd have a go. go. Did you win anything? No. Have another go. Oh, oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, yes. I won tickets. Look, look. I'm a winner. Mum, you won tickets too. <laughs> Mum, look. <laughs> Yo, 
a winner! Oh my goodness! <laughs> In the charity shop, Mum bought a flamingo coat, which I liked as well. Oh, that looks really nice, Mum. Oh, well, that's very long. cool. Yeah, yeah, it's long. I like that. Yeah. From the charity shop, I brought... <coughs> I had some lovely stuff in oh there. I bought this gorgeous necklace. Look at that. It needs a slightly longer thing for me because, like, I can't Not get it over my head. But look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And from the same shop. Did you not haggle? No, I didn't no. haggle. It's so busy. I brought this. Looks like you're putting a pet, putting a comfortable carpet on. <laughs> See, it looks What's like it look that. Like? That looks like. You know when you're caravan, the caravan. Are you saying that it looks like caravan upholstery? <laughs> it does. It looks like it's been made out of caravan upholstery. Good quality though, obviously. What? It is good it's a quality one. What's it's it look like? It looks very nice. Are you just saying that? Oh, it's what? It, yeah. I like it. I thought. I think someone's made that out of caravan upholstery. They've not made it out of caravan upholstery. I thought in the autumn when I wear my green and my beige long tunics, this will, if I'm going out, will be an upgrade. Yeah. Well, I like it. I, hopefully, it about a fiver. No, it didn't cost a fiver. How much do you think? Seven fifty. No. It's a charity shop. Oh no, but yeah, it's but quality. It's quality. Look, it fits shop. Me, fits I know they do last long in caravans, so as a jacket, it's going to last even longer. Twelve pounds. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a bargain with the funky necklace. Look, yeah. gorgeous. I also bought this lovely pouch, which was. £1.50 and I thought what I could do is use it to put all my wires in. Mr Warner. <laughs> it's quite a long drop down there. It'd make a great window cleaner, look. So we're off to get something to eat at the club and uh, we might play a cheeky game of bingo. Yeah, might do. Are you feeling lucky, Glenn? Always, lucky. <laughs> Always. <laughs> right, which one are you gonna go for? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm gonna go that one. Mum's poised. We're ready. We didn't win at bingo, but we had a good time, and that's what it's all about. So, some lucky person won over a hundred pounds, but we didn't win. But it doesn't matter. It's the taking part that counts. So there we have it not a bad week at all in fact one of my favorites and it's been an absolute delight to share it with you so thank you for being here for our 200th episode thank you for coming with us on this epic journey i know one thing i've got to say i have been organizing playlists all of 2018 in a playlist i'm going to be doing 2019 next week so I'm just organising everything in playlists. So if you haven't watched those very early videos, or they, they, they make me cringe a little bit when I watch them. I wasn't very good at editing back then. But anyway, they're all there if you want to watch them. Don't forget, you've still got, we've got the pens online now. The pens are for sale. Yeah, well done, Mr Warner. And the still the clothing if you want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll leave a link to the pens below. I love my pens. And there is some more products coming. It's very exciting. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's enough from us. So, we'll see you next week. Cheers. Take care. Bye.